What's up, YouTube? We're on top of a volcano in Hokkaido. My girlfriend is visibly pissed. If you want to know why, join us on our trip to Northern Japan. And here we see Date Masamune, the world famous founder of Sendai, basically the person who is Iyasu Tokugawa for Edo. Everybody knows he, this guy here uh, founded this beautiful city, Sendai. All right. Everybody knows the basic knowledge. I can cover my left <laughs> <laughs> How much did you miss my cringy humor? Anyway, Senda is said to be a very livable city. But to be honest, we were rather disappointed. It almost felt like going into an 80s Soviet city. But luckily, there are several day trips you can undertake. One of them is a boat cruise across the Matsushima Islands, which looks much less impressive on video if the weather is bad. And the weather this year in Japan was terrible overall, and we were not much luckier on this trip. But you know, you gotta make the best out of it. But the next day we took a one hour and a half long trip with the local train to a little station called Yamadera. A small village with a very famous temple that is not really that accessible, but definitely worth the trip. So if you're in the area, make sure to check it out, as it is one of the highlights in all of Japan. So make your step counters ready by climbing almost 200 stairs where the actual temple is waiting for you. No elevators here, baby. Yamadera, however, has easily become a top 3 temple in Japan for me. Hidden in a ravine, it offers a picturesque view on the valley and could be straight from a fairy tale. Sorry, weeps, I mean, shonen anime. Yamagata's riveting nightlife. This is basically the equivalent to Kabukicho. I can't imagine the masses of people coming here every night, partying in ecstatic frenzies. Look at that. This is the epitome of nightlife. Swing. How fun is it? Mama. Mama. <laughs> Yebiku Gorge is a picturesque ravine two hours north of Sendai, where you can take a relaxing boat tour and really feel the Zen. At this spot, you can pick five undama and you have to throw them into that little hole over there. So let's see if we can actually achieve that and gain the favor of the gods. So, which one do you pick? Luck. Saori versus the hole. 
Well, so I guess that's bad luck. <laughs> that was my maximum power. All right, I hit the stone for connection. Free Wi-Fi for the world, blessed by the spirits of GBK. And I got a little certificate for it. Yay! So thank me for 5G connection around the world. We initially planned to spend our whole trip in the Sindai area and explore more, but after running out of day trips around the area, we spontaneously took a flight to Sapporo in Hokkaido, where more picturesque views and amazing food were waiting for us. And boy was it worth it. Hello, Seiko March. Mama? It's fried chicken. Oh, it's fried chicken. Nine days can move by incredibly fast. On our trip to the airport, we took a little detour to climb an active volcano. So at last, another hike has begun. To my girlfriend's disdain. You were the chosen one! I'm a firm believer that picturesque views have to be earned. You can't just ride a cable car and enjoy the view. You have to earn it by conquering the mountain. And the reward was... Mordor. No, seriously, it's really cool to be on top of an active volcano, even though the wind was blowing like a JV superstar, and I was truly terrified that my phone would fall victim to it. Seriously though, my camera doesn't even come close to capture the magnificent beauty of the views we experienced there. The sheer scale of the horizon makes you feel tiny and insignificant and allows you to forget all problems you might have for a while. Seriously, this is what we love about hiking and if you've never been, you should try it. As well as all the amazing soft cream at Chitose Airport. <laughs> 